Hello guys, in this video I'll show you how to create a log. It can be used in many cases. As for me, I'll use it for consumable and interactable objects, but it can be very expandable and you can use it for the damage log and so on. It's very simple and basic implementation, but if there will be an offer, I'll make an advanced one. So let me demonstrate it, how it works. Keep attention on the right bottom corner of your screen. So, let's get started. So, to start with, I created a simple enumeration e log message where I have defined three types of messages that I have. It's add, remove and full. Adds for adding something, remove for removing something and full when the capacity in our inventory is actually Full. Next, I have created the HUD log widget and HUD log message widget. Basically, HUD log is the grid which will handle all our messages. It's vertical box. You can see the values in my layout here and for hard log message it's simple text we can go with the rich text but this I'll keep for the advanced log tutorial so make sure that the size on the x axis in your message and in your grid are actually equal. Now let's go to the main graph of the hard log widget, and as you can see, I have created the function which is called create log text. Keep your attention on the inputs, it's log id which is for log message enumeration and consumable base the reference to our consumable when our function is triggered it actually creates hard log message widget as you can see it also has log id and consumable attributes exposed Here. So, when we create our widget, we need to add it to our vertical box, and every type of the same widget it will be created will be handled by our grid. Also, I have the verification here. As you can see, we have max message count. So, when the amount of our children is higher than our max message count, we'll actually remove the first index, so there won't be the spamming messages through all our screen. The first one will be deleted. And that's all for our hard log widget. Now let's take a look at hard log message widget.
here on the event construct you can see that I am checking whether consumable that we have is actually valid if it's valid I'm calling the function which is called make proper message then when he, when we have our text in the proper format we are setting it to our widget element for this one next I have a timer every time our widget has actually constructed after 5 seconds it triggers the event which removes our widget from our parent and when it's removed it triggers event destruct so it's clear and invalidates the timer this one so our function here won't exist take a look closely now let's take a look at make proper message function we break the consumable structure from our consumable and get the text actually let's go back to our structure f consumable I forgot to tell you that I have added another element it's the string type and it's for text here and if we take a look at db consumables we can see here is the name I'll use for my log So, we break our structure, then we provide the text as our message body. Next, we can have log ID and switch on different values. As you can see, I have slate color type variable Actually, I don't see it here. Oh, it's under my custom category It's the color for adding items next one for removing items and when the capacity is full also I have created three more string variables and for the default values for add I'll go with the plus sign for remove with the minus sign and for the full with the text of no space for so when we pick our consumable and we look for the proper log ID then we decide which type of logic to choose and whether we are adding something the color in our log will be colored with for instance if it's add color it's the green one removing color is the red one and full color some yellow also you can see that my function actually returns the text variable it's our message which we actually provide here so this preview message will be changed to a proper one 
Also, I have the append node here, and as you can see, we have B field, but it's not empty. Actually, it's the mark of space. So there will be some space between our words. And that's pretty much all for this widget. It's very, very simple, but it's very good for prototyping of some minimalistic games. As you have noticed, when we pick something, if it's the same class, we are actually not stacking it. We have the message for each element, but for some users, this will be enough. Let me know if you want the advanced one. So, let's continue. Let's open the interface for our interaction system. As you can see, I have three functions. Create log widget, destroy log widget and update log widget. In the update log widget, you can see that I have some inputs. It's log ID and consumable. Log ID is log message enumeration and consumable base class for the consumable. Create log widget. We need to fire actually when our player is spawned and destroy when our player is not actually alive. Update log widget. We need to fire every time we need to have something in our log be shown. So, as you remember from the tutorial about consumables, we have three types of message. One in our consumable base class, in the event main body, here when our max capacity actually equals our current capacity, you can see right now I have the message for player controller which is calling for update log widget. As for log ID, I choose full, so there will be the proper type of message and as consumable actually it's self. So when I pick something, it will be the reference for our log. And in our inventory component. When we pick something, event add to inventory. After update pi menu, you can see that I have the same type of message, but log ID is actually add and for the consumable is the last consumable. So the last we picked. Then the flow goes without changes. And event remove from inventory right after set last consumable flow here. The same type of message, but log ID is remove. Now, let's open player controller, or actually player character, and find the messages for creating and destroying our log widget for HUD. Event begin play. Actually, this one. Create log widget for get player controller and destroy log widget in the flow of event destroyed. Now let's go to player controller and here you can see three events that we have implemented in our interface. 
event create log, which actually creates hard log widget. And flow is actually the same as for all hard widgets. Event destroy log widget and update log widget. We check whether our log this one is created and if it's so we can actually fire create log text function. This one. So that's all for the simple log message feature. I hope you like what you've seen and please subscribe and leave your feedback. See you soon.